Hey Trade Pros, this is Mark from Trade Pro Academy. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you guys about where day traders should be placing their stop losses. Now, before we get into the video, if this is your first time on the channel, please go ahead and subscribe, click off that notification bell to get notified anytime we go live or anytime we upload any new videos like this one. In addition to this, if you guys can smash that like button, that's gonna help us out with the YouTube algorithm and put us out in front of other traders such as yourselves. So we're gonna give you a moment to do that and we'll see you in the next slide. Alright trade pros, now that you guys are subscribed to the channel and you smash that like button, where should day traders be putting their stops? Well the secret is pretty simple, you just don't use any. I'm just kidding guys, but in all seriousness, day traders in 2020, especially the professional day traders making money, are using order flow. And order flow simply allows us to look inside the chart and it allows us to see where the big volume is happening on say a reversal or a trend continuation. It also shows us where buyers and sellers are getting a little bit more aggressive. So by following the volume on a reversal or a continuation and by following the aggressive buyers and sellers, we're better able to tell what levels they would be willing to defend should the market come back there. And at the end of the day, what is a stop loss? A stop loss is simply a, a way to limit your downside risk for a trade. And so where would you wanna put your stop loss if you're looking to limit your risk for a trade? You wanna put it where you'd be wrong. And where would you be wrong when you're using order flow? Well, if there's a level where there's a lot of selling coming in and you got your stop loss above that level, it's probably a good level, right? Because if you get stopped out, that means there's other people likely getting stopped out and the trend is going to reverse. So what you wanna do in 2020 is you want to put your stop in front of as many barriers as possible for the market to get to. That way, the probability is more in your favor that the market should go in your direction. Let me tell you this. This is a good little trick that you guys can use going forward, and the tip is this. Instead of focusing where your entry should be, focus where your stop should be and base your entry on that. And the idea behind this is that if you're always focused on where the level where you're wrong, where your stop loss should be, and you put your entry above that in the case of getting long or below that in the case of getting short, you're gonna be in a better position to hold on to those winning trades longer because the market has more resistance or support to get through in order to reach your stop. Now, this sounds great in theory. Let's jump on the screens right now and I'll show you this in practice. All right, Trade Pro. So here we are at the screens. What you see in front of you is my Sierra chart platform. And the asset that we're looking at here is the S&P 500 September 2020 futures contracts. This left-hand chart is a five tick range chart. This right hand chart is a reversal five tick footprint chart. All right, we're not going to get into the nitty gritty of what these charts mean. We've got plenty of videos on our channel about them, but let's take a quick look at where you should be placing your stops by utilizing order flow. So there was one or two good examples from today's session. Uh, one of them was a short that's right here where you see a nice little double top break and retest of the structure for a nice continuation trade lower. And then you've also got one that follows up here where you get a break and retest of this Globex view app for a continuation higher. And so I'm going to show you how you can use order flow in order to refine your entries and to refine your stop loss levels by utilizing high volume nodes, by utilizing aggressive buying or selling based on your idea. So here's the footprint chart. Let's have a quick look at what happened here. All right. So what you've got is you've got to move into resistance, right? We've built a nice little support structure, as you can see here, which ends up breaking to the downside. 
All right, on the break to the downside, we did see some aggressive selling hitting the market. So this becomes a level where the market may rotate back up into now that we've seen a convincing breakdown below it. And we do see that. We see here on the chart, as I tick right, you can see we finally hit that level here at the 42s. So what are we looking for? We're looking for aggressive selling to come into the market at and around this level. You can see that some selling has occurred here, all right, but it has been met with buying all right you can see sellers came in buyers came in right after sellers came in buyers forced a rotation higher and we're looking for that to stop all right we don't want to see this battle we want to see the sellers take over the buyers in order to start looking for an idea to get short so here we have another rotation down not really much selling and now we get the first rotation where we get some selling coming into the market and you've got some high volume node here right at the top of this range so this kind of becomes a short term little pivot level right around the structure that we are looking to get short around all right and so the next rotation what we do not want to see is for this market to break back above 42s 42 halves let's see what happens we don't all right we do see some buying coming in which is fine but the market did not make a higher high in this context next rotation another red reversal candle so you can see here that at this point the buying is starting to fizzle out and that the sellers are coming in what we want to see next is the sellers show us that they want to press this market lower all right that's what we want to see and so at this point now you can see that these high volume nodes that a majority of the volume that happened before this little drop that took out these little short-term swing lows, a majority of the volume that caused that rotation happened between these 40 halves to the 41 halves. And you can see that we also had some decent selling imbalances there. And on this rotation as well, we had some selling imbalances on the way down. So what do you look to do if you're looking to get short? Well, if you're looking to get short, you will want to see a bit of a rotation and Again, where would your stops be if you're going to be wrong? All right. If you're going to be wrong, your stops would be above this volume and above this active selling 42 halves, 42 three quarters, 43. All right. And so if you're using a five to seven tick stop, you know, your entry would be somewhere in the region of, you know, 43 quarters, 40 halves, uh, maybe up even into these 41s, 41 quarters or so. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to have the sellers that cause this rotation down here in this little box. You want to have your st stop protected by those guys. All right. So if the market rotates on up into these sell imbalances, into these prior sell imbalances, that's where you're going to want to be selling with your stops above. And that's going to give you the highest probability of the trade working out in your favor because you have got large traders supporting the market from trading your stop. And that's the barrier that you want. All right. So in this context, let's see what happens next rotation up you can see the market gives you a quick little rotation kind of right between these sell imbalances, which is exactly what we're looking for. And then the next rotation, next rotation, bam, right down into the Globex view app. That's an example of where you should be putting your stop losses. So let's scroll on into the example here of this long. All right. And so this is where the example kind of comes to fruition and the idea remains the same. All right. So what happened here? We had a nice dump. All right. The sellers kind of took control here, pressed the market lower. And you can see we had a little buy and balance here. And on this next rotation, the buyer stepped in. All right. The buyer stepped in and look what happened. Sellers came and defended that level. And there was a bit of a fight. The sellers attempted to break to fresh lows. But look what happened. Volume node shifted down here right beside the buyer that caused this rotation giving us the indication that short term bulls might be coming back into the market this rotation here with some buy and balances also kind of confirms that idea but ultimately the level where you can see the sellers are really really defending is right around where a majority of these point of controls are all right. And so once this market breaks out above that level, you can see here we've had one rotation down. A buyer comes in another rotation up that comes back on down. Seller starts to come into the market on this rotation. More buying comes up and breaks above this prior little top with a little buy imbalance. All right. So it's at this level where you can be looking to place your limits around these buy imbalances right between these buy imbalances with your stop below this level of volume the big volume level this is also a globex view app so you have a key 
indicator there as well. And you've got aggressive buying there, defending your stop from the market just plunging straight down and you know stopping you out. So that is kind of the idea there is you get double bottom, if you will, you get the move up with order flow supporting that idea. You get buy and balance, you get a stuck seller, you get a move higher with some buy and balances. And all you're looking to do is place your limits around these buyers with your stop below this level for a quick rotation and a continuation higher. And that's basically it, guys. If you can get high volume nodes, if you can get aggressive buyers or sellers, and if you can also get stuck longs or shorts protecting your stop loss, you're going to start to see your trading take a turn for the best. So there you have it, guys. That is where day traders should be placing their stop in the markets. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope you got value out of it. If you did, please go ahead and smash that like button if you haven't already and share this video with a friend or two that's also into trading if you think it can help them as well. Until next time, good luck and good trading. Take care. Hello and thank you for watching this video. I want to take a moment to invite you to an exclusive online trading masterclass. In this event, you're going to learn three key things to help take your trading to the next level. Number one, we're gonna teach you a complete price action strategy used by professional traders on a daily basis. Plus give you the checklist so you know how to check off each step to qualify the opportunities. Number two, we're gonna teach you how to use advanced order flow analytics to help you qualify high probability, low risk trade setups on a daily basis. Plus we're gonna teach you how to use that order flow to disqualify the trades that you're used to taking that end up being stopped out. Number three, we're going to show you how you can apply all of this information with a small account because you can start small and scale up. In fact, that's the only way to start and a lot of our traders are doing it in our community on a daily basis. This is an exclusive offer you can get online only at this event. I look forward to seeing you at this masterclass and teaching you these three secrets of highly profitable day trading. Take care and have a great day.